Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm doing my first update to the Women Who Rock Project Pan. This is a project with the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group, and it was created by Ruth, Kim, and Cece. I will have all of them linked down below. Those three wonderful women created this project to honor other women in history, and I think it's just a really great concept, and so I wanted to join. There's basically no rules for this. They left it wide open, so you could do it roulette style, you could do it progressive style, you could roll one item in at a time, you can roll all the items in at a time. I'm working on five items at a time, and each goal that I meet, I roll a new item in. I am only one or two uses away from hitting one of my goals already, which is really exciting. So I am going to roll in a new item. I would love to get started, but first, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy makeup and panning content, I encourage you to subscribe. I feel like my chair doesn't work with any of my shirts that I wear, so um, I might have to put like a blanket over them. Side note, this is like, this is a chair I got from my grandma. It's very cute. I've had it for about 10 years, I would say, and I just absolutely love it, but I not putting my husband through having a floral chair in our, our living room, so it's in my little storage office beauty room and it's my new little filming chair so I love it but it doesn't work with any of my outfits so I might have to adjust that. Let's get into the update. The first item I've been working on was for Beyonce who run the world girls and the prompt was for a product from a female owned brand. So I rolled in my Dominique Cosmetics lip liner. This is in the shade brown sugar and my goal was to use this 22 times. So far I've used it seven times, which is pretty good for me because I do not gravitate towards lip liner. I have to remind myself to use it. I am wearing it today in combination with my Autumn Liquid Lipstick from my Throwback 30 Project Pan. So I have 15 uses left on this. If I use it organically, I probably won't hit that next month, but if I really push myself, I think I could hit it next month. The next prompt was Helen Reddy. She said the quote, I am woman, hear me roar. So I defined a product that gave me confidence. And I always feel confident when my makeup is set in place, especially for my oily skin. So I rolled in my Milani Make It Last setting spray. I also had the goal of using this 22 times and I used it 12. So I'm pretty happy with that progress. I think I'll definitely hit my goal next month. And when I rolled it in, it was brand new. You can see my new line marking. This is a very, this is a very big bottle. So it'll last me quite a long time, which I love because this is my new favorite setting spray. A lot of people have said the sprayer is a little aggressive and I would have to agree with that, but it's worth it to me. I just hold it a little further away from my face and I think it really works to make my makeup last. The next prompt was Princess Diana. I had to find something tough but beautiful. So I immediately thought of a baked product because they're so tough to pan and see any progress in. So I rolled in my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And for this, I also had a goal of 22 uses. This is what it was looking like when I rolled it in. And I actually used this 16 times, which was a little shocking because I'm working on a lot of highlighters. Doubtful that there is any movement on this baked product, but I really like it. I am wearing it today. Are you going to be able to see it? Maybe. I think it's just gorgeous, really natural. I'm glad I pulled it out because I haven't used it in probably years. Um, it's a very old product in my collection, but I think I got so many uses out of it, even though I'm panning other highlighters, just because some days I would use one highlighter on my cheekbones and then a different highlighter in my inner corner, and I count 
that inner corner as a use as well. So I've kind of been mixing my highlighters. I've done that in the past and I think it, I think it still counts in my eyes. The next prompt was Anne Frank, and I had to find something that makes me feel brave. And I think any waterproof item makes me feel brave and secure that it won't either slide off my face with the oil or makes me feel brave that I can go in the water. So I rolled in this Pro Fusion Good Brow Day Waterproof Brow Pen. This is... I don't know what shade this is because it doesn't say on the packaging, but it was probably like dark brown or chocolate, you know, something in that shade range. And I also had a goal to use this 22 times and I've used it 10. So I have 12 uses left. This is a little too dark for my brows. I did kind of put it through my brows today, but what you're seeing is my brow powder. But um, this is either way too pigmented, way too dark, or I'm just not precise enough with my brow application. Honestly, it's probably all three. But I found that I really enjoy this as an eyeliner. So I'll pop up a picture here. The top picture has this on my eyes, and then the bottom has my Physician's Formula Eye Booster waterproof. Oh, I could have rolled that in for this prompt. Okay. Anyway, it's the black eyeliner. So hopefully you can see a difference. This is more of like a muted, almost like a gray brown. And then of course, like a very black, black eyeliner. And I really enjoy this as an eyeliner. I'll probably use it the additional 12 times as an eyeliner because it's a little, it's a little too much in my brows. And then the last prompt that I am kind of rolling out because I'm only a couple uses away from my goal is Julia Child and that is for a food themed item. So I rolled in my Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and this is in the shade Marshmallow. I also had a goal of 22 uses and I've used it 20 times this month. I'm pretty sure I use this every single day that I wore makeup, but I feel like I wore makeup more than 20 times. But anyway, I only have two uses left to hit my 22 use goal. I'm definitely gonna use it. I love this concealer, um, but I am panning another concealer in my graveyard project pan. There's no windowing, but I feel like I'm super close to taking the stopper out, but I am rolling it out of this project. So I will be randomly generating a new number. There are 20 prompts in this spreadsheet that the ladies created. So I randomly generated one through 20 and I got 11, which is for Katy Perry, Roar. I really love that song. And it's a product that makes you feel fierce, which I try to plan ahead. In my spreadsheet, I either put an item that I absolutely want to use for that prompt, or I just write some ideas for when I roll the prompt in that I have kind of like a starting point. So for this, I put either a red lipstick, a liquid liner, or a perfume. So even though I'm panning three perfumes right now in my Throwback 30, two of them are minis, and one of them is a very summery scent, which I might, you know, stop focusing on. And then one of them is a really good, like, mixer perfume. It's like the Almond Blossom one I can pair with basically any, any perfume so far. So I'm going to roll in my YSL Black Opium. This is just the 0.25 fluid ounce bottle. And as you can probably see, it's full. I've used this once since I hauled it in my spring haul. I shared this. And this perfume definitely makes me feel fierce. It's very like sophisticated. It's like a very, well, you guys know this. 
everyone talks about this and I'm sure that you've smelled it yourself. I've really wanted this perfume for a long time. Every time I went into Ulta, I would smell it and I finally caved and got the little one. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I would ever spend the money on the full size unless like my husband got it for me for our anniversary or something. But I want to get through this before I commit to the whole bottle because perfumes smell differently on your skin than they do in the bottle. So I really want to get to know this perfume before I commit to the big one. That is all for my update today. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out their creators down in the description box. I love watching their videos here on YouTube and I also follow them on Instagram. And again, if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you enjoy makeup and panning content, I encourage you to subscribe so I see you in my next video.